Hi guys, welcome back to Tamil Show. It's your girl Shilla here. If you're new here, thank you for joining. And if you're a time subscriber, I am so sorry I have been away for so long. Happy New Year, guys. Even though I know this is probably going up in like mid February, but Happy New Year. It's never too late to. Yeah, actually, yeah, that's a lie. <laughs> I stopped saying Happy New Year to people in real life in like the middle of Jan. Like after the first two weeks of Jan, I was like, nah, 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 it's not needed. Stop it. But really and truly, life happens and sometimes it's just what it is so i recently purchased the sephora translucent setting powder also guys for my girl who's in the uk sephora is like there's an actual sephora store coming to us like this year um i'm guessing probably gonna be open in like march or april uh i don't know about y'all but i'm excited <laughs> um so yeah i got the sephora powder and i've wanted to compare it to my laura mercier powder because I love my Laura Mercier powder. My, Lush, my Laura Mercier powder has seen me through thick and thin. You know, she, she's she been here for, for all of it. So I'm going to be comparing these two. I'm going to put the Sephora on this side and I put the Laura Mercier on this side. And wear it for a little while and just, you know, let you guys know my thoughts. And if there's a difference, if you should go for the Laura Mercier one, which is a bit more expensive, which is around, I want to say £32. And this is... I don't remember how much this is. I'm sorry. I will link it on. I'll put it on screen though. So yeah, let's get straight into it. And I just spilled powder all over myself. Okay, so today I'm gonna be going in, going in with this brush uh, for both eyes. I will try and like dust it off before I go into the next powder. Ideally, I would have loved to use a powder puff, but I can't find any clean powder for, puff close to me right now. So it is what it is. So this is a Sephora one. I think with a Sephora powder. Correct me if I'm wrong, I don't think it comes in like multiple shades. You just get the translucent shade. Um, I have used this before, so I, I will say that the translucent shade isn't too light because I was afraid that it would be like too light for me, but nah, it's fine. It is obviously lighter than the La Mercier Honey, but it's not like light in a way that it's that ghostly. I can, it's not light in the way that it's like that ghostly look. And you can do the up. Okay, so this is the Sephora side done. Like, as I say, it's really finely milled. I really like it. It has no scent. It's really good for the price as well. I just think that it looks flawless. Ignore anything that looks unblended. Um, I'm still working on it, okay? I'm going to dust this off very quickly and do the other side with the Laura Mercier powder. But just to show you guys what I meant by the colors are a little different. So on my so on my left hand side, which is this one that I'm tapping, you can see that it looks a bit more yellow compared to the, which is the Laura Mercier. But compared to the right hand side, which is the compared to the right hand side, which is the Sephora, it looks a bit more pale and more like just not as yellow, um, essentially. But my point is, on my skin tone, it doesn't really make that much of a difference. So I'm just going to apply the Laura Mercier powder now to the side. I'm going to try and put pretty much the same amount of powder on both sides. It goes without saying that I have used the same concealer and um, blending technique. Everything is pretty much the same except for the fact that this is, I'm setting my highlighter with, I'm setting my concealer with different powders, but yeah, everything else is pretty much the same, primer and all. I would say that, I don't know, but I feel like I can see that this is a bit more yellow compared to this side. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, but just just a little bit. I feel like this looks just a little bit more yellow. I'm asking to I feel like I, I can get away with it, but if you're someone who you know you prefer your yellow undertone maybe this would be more for you um otherwise i said any any powder would work they are both very finely milled so no problem like blending them out or anything so looks very flawless in my opinion so i am just going to go off camera and i'm going to do the rest of my makeup and i'm going to come back in a couple of hours to check on the progress with you guys just to see if you know we prefer one side to the other ignore the uh, the picture of me but it is 2 36 p.m so yeah, I'm uh, going to keep it on for a couple hours and then I'll be back to give you guys an update. 
I fuck with her. <laughs> Hi guys, guess who's back? Me, obviously. It is now six oh six. <sighs> it is now eight oh seven p.m. Tired, clearly. I think I checked in around two thirty p.m. two thirty six p.m. and it's now eight oh seven. So, so yeah, it's been almost about six hours, and you know, just thought I'd you know come in and tell you guys what I think. So as a reminder, this is the Laura Mercier side and this is the Sephora side. I haven't touched up all day or done anything to break ties or just let my face do what it's gonna do. I have, I have, however, um, blotted my nose just because I did get a bit shiny during the day and I didn't want to be that shiny. I blotted my nose and that was it. Um, verdict, verdict, verdict. Um, so both sides are kind of oily, like. I would, as I, I would expect because my t-zone the nose on my oil kind of just seeps, sips down and then goes on like on my cheeks so yeah um kind of looks like the same level of oiliness if i'm being honest mm. neither side has like extreme creasing or flaking like under the eye they both look identical in that sense Honestly, if I didn't know that I had two different powders on my face, I don't think I would know. <laughs> like, I don't know if that makes sense. Like, if I took a picture right now and I said, oh my god, guys, I have two different powders on my face, you'd be like, really? Because they actually just look exactly the same, I think, anyway. Because I have taken some photos today and I didn't notice any kind of, like, crazy difference where I'm like, oh, that side looks a bit funky and that side looks a bit nicer or whatever. So, I'm going to say that they are dupes. They are dupes. They work exactly the same way. I think it will come down to two things. It will come down to the price and it'll come down to the colour. Like I say on me, the colour doesn't really matter because it just turns like it just looks the same. But I guess on other skin tones, the colour might be more important. So it will depend on your own situation. If you are more like a lighter skin, like if you're any lighter than I am. I'll say that if you're any lighter than I am, then I don't think it would matter too much. Like your skin tone will play a part in, in that scene if like you would prefer the Laura Mercier honey version or the Sephora version, the Sephora translucent powder. But honestly guys, so far in terms of wear, in terms of longevity, they're giving me exactly the same. Yeah, they didn't budge. Everyone's the same. I wish I had more to say, but the summary is if you can't afford the Laura Mercier one, get you the Sephora one. It's cheaper and it does the same job. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it for me. Again, just wanted to start us start us back up with a nice, sweet, short video that I have been talking about. I've, I've been saying I was going to make for years now, months now, and I haven't. So, boom, 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 we're getting done, we're getting things done. That's all that matters. Okay, that's all that matters. We're getting things done. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a bit hype. Um, yeah, so ignore me. But yeah, guys, thank you so so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, now would, now would be a great time for you to do that and hit that notification bell so you don't miss my next upload and miss any of this, you know. Pizzazz. <laughs> okay, I need to go to sleep. That to be back and I'll speak to you guys some other time.